look into the eyes. Hey everybody, Summer Hill Cinema 700 here, coming at you with a different video today, actually showing some uh, movie posters that I got. I uh, got these a couple days ago from a website called moviepostershop.com. Um, it's a really cool website. Um, all, the, all the 11 by 17 posters are $5.00. By the time, though, I got them sent to Canada, because I think the website's in the USA, I ended up paying about, probably about $10 each for these posters after, like, with shipping and everything, which is a fair amount for a small poster, but I wanted to add some more to the room here, um, and I got some really cool ones. So uh, I got nine posters in total here, so let's go through those, but really quickly before we do that, something we'll uh, take a look at here for a sec, it's kind of cool. So if we take a look outside right now, you can see we got a big dump of snow last night. And here where I live in Canada, and in the particular place where I live, we don't usually get snow. So this is quite a bit for us. As you can see, we've got a fair amount. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. So I just thought I'd show that really quickly. It's not something that we really get very often. Once in a blue moon, usually once or twice a year we'll get it. So thought I'd show this uh, cool snowfall really quickly here. Alright, let's get into these posters. So yeah, again, they're all 11 by 17 inches, so they're not huge, they're kind of mini posters, but it works perfectly for the space I'm putting them uh, in. Now, if you buy some uh, posters on this website, moviepostershop.com, they package them really well, I gotta say. Um, it came packaged in this cardboard tube, really sturdy, and uh, they're not gonna get damaged in there. And then they also wrap them in this like kind of like wax paper, too, so... You order from this website, it's really good. You're always, I'm always kind of worried, you know, how stuff's going to be packaged. But if you order from this website, they're going to come in really good shape. They did a great job. Again, you're paying a, a decent amount for shipping, especially if you're ordering from Canada like I did. But uh, they had a huge selection of posters, pretty much anything you can imagine they have. So let's get uh, right into them. Where should we start here? First up, my favorite fantasy movie of all time. We have Conan the Barbarian. Theatrical poster. Very cool. I wish the Blu-ray had this artwork on it, but it doesn't. It just has some like generic picture of Arnold. But this is this is one of the best movie posters of all time. For Sword and Sorcery, I think it's the best movie poster. So that will be very cool. And to go right beside it, we have Conan the Destroyer. I love this film too. I feel more nostalgic towards this particular film just because I'd watch it a lot more as a kid on TV um, than I did the original. I don't know, because like when you're a kid on uh, this type of movie, like there's more uh, sword and sorcery type of stuff that happens in this one. I called the first one sword and sorcery. It's not really sword and sorcery, though. It's more... I mean, there is magic in it, but Conan the Destroyer is definitely more sword and sorcery oriented. I love both those films. Though. They're, they would probably put both of those in like my top 20 movies of all time. So that's Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer. Next up we have, ah yes, probably my second favorite to horror movie of all time. I'd probably, this would probably be in my top 10 just movies in general of all time. I think you might know what this one is, and that's Chud. Cannibalistic humanoid underground dwellers. It says a recent article in a New York newspaper reported that there were large colonies of people living under the city. The paper was incorrect. What is living under the city is not human. Chud is living under the city. This is the original theatrical poster. Cool. This is my favorite, probably, artwork of all time out of any poster. I just love that with the skyline in the background. So that's Chud. Very happy to have that. I also have a laser disc and a VHS of Chud, which I'll showcase uh, in another video at a later date sometime here soon. Move the camera here a bit. Next up. Very, this is very cool. This isn't actually a theatrical poster. Well, it might have been like an international one or something. I don't know, but it's not a the, the uh, theatrical poster that you're used to. That's Bloodsport. This is just like a really cool art print. Look at that. Fighting uh, Chung Lee. Yeah, that's just really awesome looking. Really cool artwork. Definitely my favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Also, I watched Hard Target the other day for the first time. That was great. Crazy action in that one. Okay, here's another action film. My favorite Steven Seagal film. Above the Law. Very cool. Happy to have that. 
did a video too showing my Steven Seagal collection. Go check that out. Next up, this is an awesome film. This is actually an international poster. I mean, the film itself is is Dutch, or it's a the Dutch film, but this is actually, I, I believe, a German poster. This is for Amsterdam, the Dick Moss film. I did a movie that Blu-ray review of this one. This is really awesome artwork. Look at that. That is cool. And again, I think that's a German poster, I believe. Kind of cool if it was in Dutch, because that's a Dutch film. But All right, let's see here. This is actually from a TV show. I don't talk about TV shows much very, very often on this channel, but this is my favorite show of all time, and that's Miami Vice. This is a, instead of being up like that, it's like this, the poster. There's a Sonny Crockett, Ricardo Tubbs, and the second car that they had in the series after the first one got blown up. This is the Ferrari Testarossa, which is a really cool poster. And Miami Vice. I did a video too way back around the time I started this channel showing my I have a Miami Vice little collection. I have a little like Hot Wheels car of the original Daytona Spider Ferrari, which was actually a Corvette painted as a Ferrari. And I showed some other stuff that I have. I think a CD and a cassette, a few other things. So go check out that video if you look up on my channel under the search thing, Miami Vice. That'll show up. But yeah, favorite show of all time, hands down, Miami Vice. So that's very cool to have that. All right, we got two more here. Uh, this is again. All, this is also one of my favorite movies of all time, and that's 1990, The Bronx Warriors. This is also kind of a sideways poster, and this is really cool artwork. It's not the artwork a lot of people are used to seeing, like that purple kind of with the colors, but this is just an amazing film, in my opinion. Some people will think it's horrible, but I love it to death. This is one by Enzo G. Castellari, and uh, there's Fred Williamson's also in this one. There is. This is really cool artwork, though. Look at that. I'm very happy to have that. I actually have a really cool uh, 1990 The Bronx Warriors signed picture. I won't say who it's from, but uh, I'll do a video of that soon. Very cool. You can probably take a guess of who it is. But anyways, that's 1990 The Bronx Warriors. That's going to look really cool. Probably going to put that one up, up there somewhere. All right. And last but not least... I had a hard time, too, choosing which posters I wanted because they have so many and I have limited space. Uh, but I went with this one. I was going to go with Avenging Force, but I ended up going with this instead. I think I like this movie more, and that's Class of 1999. Awesome movie. I did a review of this one, too, back in early 2020. I saw it on 2B TV for the first time, and then I bought the Blu-ray from Vestron. This is an awesome, awesome film. I love it. So that's all my movie posters that I got. Some really cool stuff. Again, great website. It's legit. I can tell you that now since I've got these in the mail. And, uh, yeah, just a great selection of posters. So go check them out, moviepostershop.com. I'll leave the link down below if you want to go check them out. But uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Let me know what you think of these uh, movies. Have you seen any of them? Which ones have you seen? Which ones are you anticipating to see? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. So thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.